This right here is the Subverter Evo. A new helmet. I got it hooked up with a tail light. Got it hooked up with a headlight, a new headlight that I don't even need an extra battery for. And awesome goggles. Let's talk about it. So check this out, this is the new helmet. This is the LS2 Subverter Evo. Check this thing out. This is a sweet helmet for the price. And it is comfortable, guys. It is very comfortable. And I was not expecting it. I even said, guys, in a video a, a while back, I remember saying it, I wouldn't buy a helmet under 250 bucks. But after researching and looking at this thing, I was really about to get the Aero helmet. I actually reached out to Aero and I asked them, um, for, for like a helmet sponsorship and they didn't get back to me on it and that's what I really wanted was the aero helmet I really like them but they are from the Netherlands and just buying one um, w was about the same price as this but then you had to pay a bunch of shipping and everything on top of it and I was thinking man like this honestly is probably about the same quality as the aero helmet and I know, arguably, like you could say, like the the shoey, showy aero helmets. You know, usually those helmets that are that are made um, over overseas, like you know, whether it be in Austria, whether it be in um, Netherlands or anything like that. Uh, actually, I think um, I think aero is made in New Zealand, if I'm not mistaken. But typically, those are really nice helmets, guys. They're from, you know, it's, it's the Enduro culture with KTM and Husqvarna and Gas Gas. And, you know, typically the riders that, that ride those high-end bikes wear high-end helmets. And this right here was, I don't know, usually something I wouldn't buy, honestly. I, I usually wouldn't go the route of a, of a cheaper helmet like this at all. And I typically would spend, like, that helmet right there, for instance, was five hundred dollars. This this Fox V4 right here that I've had for a very long time was five hundred bucks, guys. And it is heavy. It's very heavy compared compared to this one. So like just you can I kind of hear the like th this one's a lot heavier than, than this helmet over here, and um, it's it, it's pretty wild how far these things have come since this one. So this one was in 2014. This was probably the best you could get in 2014 V4 right there. You can see that. And um, this right here, man, I've crashed with this a lot. I've rode, you know, years with this thing. Y'all have seen this in, in every single video pretty much. I've had this helmet on right here. Uh, I've rode with this one a little bit. This was mainly for riding my Honda Grom, my motorcycle. And I mean, this even has cobwebs on it because I don't ride it with it very much. Um, Icon variant helmet. This was a also a kind of a pricey helmet. I like this a lot, but I don't like riding with the visors guys So with EUC I like riding with goggles and the reason I like riding with goggles is there's several reasons um, Goggles nowadays guys if you get goggles that don't have Lexan lenses like these right here These Luma lens goggles on these dragons are very nice if you spend the extra money and you get a real, like a double walled lens on your goggles, it will, you'll notice a huge difference. Um, if you just buy Lexan lens goggles, like I have right here, like you've seen me ride with these a lot. Like these are Lexan lenses, uh, Lexan lenses right here. Uh, all these are Lexan lenses. And they're, they're nice, but the thing is you notice a distortion. Whenever you put these on, you notice a huge distortion. Um, compared to goggles like this these are snowboard goggles and if you buy high-end snowboard or whatever goggles um, that are double walled they're they're just they're a lot I mean they're, they're nice guys um, and 100% you can also buy the 100% goggles but the, the racecraft so these are like 30 bucks right here these are like 55 bucks these are snowmobile goggles for the winter time um, I don't know those are like 70 bucks, but if you want the nice goggles if you want to get if you want to get 100% goggles And you want to get nice 100% goggles you have to get the ones that are $100 or like the $120 ones um, The ones with the actual good lenses guys those $100 um, 
100% goggles, uh, the, the lenses are just way better. I mean, they're like 50 bucks just for the replacement lenses on them. But I like being able to change my goggles out um, for different lighting scenarios. I like to be able to change my goggles out for different weather. So for if it's cold outside, I can uh, run the snowmobile goggles. Um, if it's if they get scratched up, you can easily swap them out. Uh, you get a little bit of airflow in here, which I actually really do like. And um, there's just I don't know. I've always liked goggles over running one of these. If I'm not going to be on a motorcycle, like if I'm going to be going. 100 miles an hour on a motorcycle of course i want like a full closure where no wind can get in or anything but i think like with euc i think the perfect helmet is a motocross helmet with goggles i really do like honestly i really like the tsg helmets are awesome like i i love the tsg helmets they look cool everything is like great about them but i just don't think um, I don't think it's perfect for EUC. I think a motocross helmet with goggles is just really all you need. And this right here, you can see, I got this little light. This is a little headlight right here, guys. And this doesn't even have an external battery pack. You just charge it straight on the bottom right there, and this is all self-contained. There's not even an extra battery pack in this. And I got this thing for, it was $11. And I just zip-tied it onto the helmet. So I literally um, undid this part right here. You can pull this part down and it, it just pops open. And I put a zip zip tie through here, zip tied this down, and then put a zip tie up here. And you can, like this is awesome. I can recharge it straight on the helmet. I got all these different modes to switch through on here. I mean, you can't beat that, dude. That's awesome. And then on the back back here, this is a little Olight. Uh, I love this thing. I'll link this below, but this is all. I just have this Velcro on the back. It has different modes on it. If you hold it down, I think you can get it to... Do like a pulse mode on it. But that really gets the attention of drivers and it's bright. So... This is the helmet setup. I'll link everything below, guys. I'll link the light. I'll link this headlight up here. I'll link the O-light in the back. I'll link the actual helmet, and I'll link the goggles. If I want to get the exact same setup right here that I got. I don't care if you do. If it's good, it's good. If it works, it works. And it took a long time to get all that dialed in and get it right. To find the right, the right tail light get the goggles that I like. Those Dragon goggles are really good for the price. Um, if you want to get the 100% goggles, get the 100% Racecraft. I think that's what they are. The 100% Racecraft goggles. I actually have a pair of those coming in. But with it being a new year, and I love the angles of this helmet, man. Like just the top right here, the big knobs on the side. And just that aggressive angle, like that aggressive angle on this helmet is just so sick. It really is. Subverter Evo. And it, it feels plush, guys. I got a size up. I typically wear a size medium. So this is a size medium over here. I got a size large. So that's definitely probably helpful. And it feels right. Uh, the cheek pads would be way too narrow. If I would have gotten a size medium, like I typically ride with, the cheek pads would have been squishing my cheeks in too much. Um, but I think it's awesome. I love this helmet. And I think the color options are great too. The Subverter Evo from LS2 Helmets. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up. It's been Chooch. I'll see you dudes in the next one. Perfect helmet for EUC right here. I really do. This is the perfect helmet for EUC. Two hundred and forty bucks for the for the colored. Um, two hundred and forty bucks for the ones with the designs on them, and then two hundred bucks flat for the ones without design. I think that's an incredible price point for a helmet like this.